Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. What a rough morning it was with very heavy rain in parts of the state. We dodged the bullet, though, with no severe weather here in the state. We're just waiting to get this little cell of activity out of here in parts of uh, Wyndham County. We'll zoom in once again and show you between Putnam and uh, Danielson in Dayville, Killingly Center. You've got some of that very, very uh, yellows, oranges, and reds. A powerful little system here passing through on Lake Road. Uh, this is in Pineville, Putnam Heights, some of the smaller towns and hamlets there, Cotton Road, Killingly Road. So just be careful. Let this pass you on by. Let it move on out into Rhode Island and Massachusetts. It's going to take about a 45 minutes to an hour, and then it'll be gone. We're also watching a little bit of development to the south and east in New London counties, North Stonington. You guys are dealing with some of that moderate to heavy rainfall as well, right by the Pequot Indian Reservation. So just be careful there as well. Other uh, places, we are dealing with still some scattered showers, but they're nothing like we had earlier. Hebron, Colchester, Marlboro, East Hampton. You guys are dealing with some of those scattered showers as well, and they'll start to wind down as we work through the rest of the day. Want to pass along what's in effect a flood warning for the Still River at Brookfield. Flood stage is 12 feet. We're just going to be approaching that, so some minor flooding might be taking place in that area. And there's also a flood advisory where that heavy cell of activity is right now in parts of southeast Connecticut. That is until 1245. If that gets extended, we'll certainly let you know. Let's quickly talk about the tropics. You're going to be hearing about Sam. He is out there and a menacing force. He is expected to become a Cat 4 hurricane. This is not good, but the good news is it's in the open waters of the Atlantic going back to a 3. The track is to a northwest. We'll certainly keep you posted as the days wear on, but uh, it's still out in the open waters of the Atlantic by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Old Saybrook, mostly overcast conditions right now. Mostly overcast conditions in Hartford with a 65 degree temperature. The numbers started off in the 70s this morning, then they dropped. They're in the 60s right now. As you can see, 63, 64, 65, and 66, generally in the low 60s. Again, the numbers have come down, but we're hoping with some partial clearing, the numbers will bounce back up. Look at the dew points dropping comfortably into the mid 50s. So that's some good news. This front did bring relief in terms of the humidity, and you can see it's going to be fairly pleasant through the weekend, and the winds are calm this afternoon, which is good news. Those winds have died down too. So the rain is exiting, clearing later today. Now, tomorrow evening, there might be some showers around as this front moves to the east and stalls as an area of low pressure rides along it. Here's early morning future cast tomorrow's weather today. It shows partial clearing tonight, so we'll call it partly cloudy. Tomorrow we start off okay, but then an area of low pressure forms along the uh, front. And unfortunately, that does bring some scattered showers, maybe even some heavier rain Saturday night into Sunday morning, according to this model. And then that pushes out, and Sunday is a really good day. Okay, so today's daytime highs climb into the low 70s. We're hoping anyway. And then 73 tomorrow with those afternoon and evening showers. Sunday looks good. And then a little bit unsettled Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday, Kara, features autumn-like weather with temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. How well, awesome is that? It's I gonna, know you love that crisp feeling. I love feeling. that crisp feeling.